This is not the first time I've filmed at this site. This is Torwood Lee Brook in Gala Shields. But I feel it's a site which deserves some more attention. And not only is it a bit strange to find a brook like this in the south of Scotland, but there are another two, another two brooks in Gala Shields. Now this one, fair play to the owners of the land, they seem to be make, trying to make it a bit of a tourist attraction and publicising it a little bit. But the other two are completely unknown. So today, I'm going to take a look and see if I can find them. Yeah. The structure here at Torwood Lee, it really is an immense structure. You know, it was built around the turn of the first millennia, just before or just after, and was reputedly destroyed by the Romans in 80 AD. The valley here gives a fantastic view right down towards North Yieldon Hill and then Trimontium at the other side there. But you can see the, the foundations of the thing, the doorway here, some huge stones supporting the doorway. Then you come into this vast interior area, probably used for livestock. And then over the other side, there's like a small chamber off the main chamber here. And even a little staircase. And then the whole thing is guarded by these huge ramparts. You can clearly see the wall at this point running in this huge circle right around the brook. I mean, look at, look at the size of the stones. They're massive, they're like far bigger than anything you see in, I don't know, Hadrian's Wall. The Selgovae never bowed to the Romans at the other side of the valley like the Votadini did and they probably paid dearly for that and perhaps this brook was their first line of defence but ultimately became the first target for the Romans. You know, if somebody had said to me even five years ago, have you seen the brook in Gala Shields? I'd be like, I've studied history at Gala Shields Academy mate and know that you don't get brooks in the south of Scotland. What are you talking about? But now, there are three, there are three brooks. And you do get taught about brooks at Gala Shields Academy, or you did in 1991 or whatever it was I was there. And never a mention of the ones in Gala. Now our next brook might not be very well known as a brook, but it's certainly not hidden. Because anybody who's driven the main A7 through the borders south from Edinburgh towards Gala Shields will have seen this structure on the top of the hill here. Which I'd always thought was just some form of cairn. But no, this is Bow Castle Brook. It's the first time I've ever actually been up at this uh, Bow Castle Brook. Getting to see a huge amount of stone on the hillside there, which is probably all came from the, the brook complex at the top, which would have been far grander in, in days gone by. Like I said, the, the amount of stone line on this hillside is vast. And it's all worked, I mean that's that's almost dead square. Yeah, 
you know, even in a world inhabited by JCBs and huge pieces of industrial machinery, this volume of rock and working it and making it into something habitable is absolutely mind-blowing. How did they do it by hand? And yes, when you get up here, you are met with this magnificent prehistorical site. Very much the same alignment as the Torwood Lee Brook, the big circle. Somebody's built a cairn at the front there. Wow! Now this is what you call a defensible site. There you go, Bull Castle Brock, sitting in this fantastical position here, driven past by thousands of motorists every day, completely ignorant to what it is or what it was for. But is it connected to the Torwood Lee Brock? Was it built by the same peoples? But for me, there is a slight problem when forming a connection between this brock and the brock at Torwood Lee. And that problem is, you can't see Dorwood Lee Brock from here. There would be no communication between the two camps. But, what if there was a third brock in between the two? And that is the theory, that there is a third brock. And it's right in that little wood I just zoomed in on there. And from it, you can view Torwood Lee and Bow Castle, which forms the perfect communication channel to make these three brocks inhabited by the same peoples. And the brock is known as Cross Lee Brock. But it's unknown, there's no photographs of it anywhere. I can only find a couple of small paragraphs and a couple of obscure books, but I hope today to find some evidence of that brock. You can just imagine the tribes of the Selgovae defending this place against a Roman invasion. You can probably see from that clip that they were very, very powerful and violent men. Going by my old map, Brock should be in this woodland here. This wood here definitely is the one which is marked on the maps as the site of Cross the Brock. Strange how it's still walled off for some reason. Let's go and take a closer look. Uh, it's quite disappointing because it's almost completely overgrown and filled with rubbish and weeds and debris. But this small wood near Boland, which is known as Cross Lee, was the site of Cross Lee Brock. And it does still appear on some ancient maps. From here, from here, you can see the site of Torwood Lee Brock. Just over on the hill there. And you can see the site of Bow Castle Brock on the other hill up the side there. Uh, it's a bit it's a bit sad the whole site's kinda forgotten, neglected. But you can see kind of indentations in the ground here. And still, there is a rough outline of a circular shape of the brock, which was clearly evident about a hundred years ago, I think, when I read it was documented. 
it really does take a bit of imagination to, to picture this brock in here. But what you have to remember is, only a hundred or so years ago, Torwood Lee Brock was in the exact same state. It was completely buried. But excavations have brought it to the state it's in just now where you can actually see the walls. So is there somebody out there with enough time and money and ambition to come and clear this site and find the secrets that lie underneath the ground here at Cross Lee Brock? Just imagine the ancient standing here, signalling up here, signalling up there. Another forgotten piece of gala shields on Scottish borders history. So there you go, Cross Lee Brock. Now there might not be much to see on the ground here, but coming here really does give you a sense of place. That sense of vital link between Torwood Lee Brock just there and Bow Castle Brock just there. It really does enforce that feeling of a real strong line of fortresses for the Selgovae against the Romans or the Votadini or whoever that might be. But what you need to remember is that these brocks were merely the outposts of the main Selgovae fortress which was down at the rink a few miles further down the valley. The rink fortress was constructed in the same manner as the brocks it's about 40 or 50 times bigger. So please come out in the hills near Gala Shields yourself and really immerse yourself in the history and the place here. Gala Shields, not only do we have three cinema screens, but we have three Stone Age brocks. You don't like Brock's by the way, this countryside should be enough to fulfill you. Absolutely stunning, glorious. Wow. <laughs>